Hello and welcome to Absinthology.com. My name is Paul Nathan. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada with mixologist and author Dave Furlong. Dave, congratulations. I heard your book just got, uh, they just agreed to publish it. We've got a recipe book that uh, you've written. Actually, um, we've written it together. It's a little bit of a plug here. Yeah. And one of the things that we talk about in the book is something that you've created. It's, uh, it's Absinthe Caviar. Caviar. And this is just absolutely spectacular. You're going to show us how to make that right now. I'm going to give you a rough version of how to make it. Um, once you see it, you're going to you're going to think it's real. It's fish eggs. You're not going to understand that it's not fish eggs. It's an absent caviar. Excellent. Well, I'm going to step out of your way and let you go to work. Okay. So here's what I've made already. It's it's, it's essentially we call it absent caviar. To show you a little bit on the plate what it looks like. What we do is it's really easy to make, but it, it does take a little while. It's a little advanced. I start by making a cocktail and. For every ounce of, of liquid that I use, I, I use one gelatin sheet. And a gelatin sheet is something you can find in a specialty food store, uh, pastry department, something like that. Or there are recipes online for gelatin powder, but I like the sheets a little bit better. It proofs a little better. So I make the cocktail just as I wanted it to taste, because this is the final product. And from there, I just real easy to do. I'm not going to do it right now because I already have it pre-made. I'm going to strain it into a squeeze bottle. Put that squeeze bottle in the refrigerator until it's it's almost like jelly jam consistency. We don't want it we don't want it hard like jello, but we want it in the jelly jam category. And the whole time I had a big tub of canola oil in the freezer. We want that to where it's almost frozen. And this is what exactly what the process looks like. So now I have my gelatin absinthe in here, and my frozen canola here. And you just, very carefully, every single drop is going to be a, a little ca piece of caviar. So you let every drop fall into the oil. It's a pretty tedious process to make. You know, 10 ounces of caviar takes a couple days to make. So as you're letting that fall and drop into the canola oil, it congeals and the canola oil, the frozen oil, uh, cools it and turns it into a ball. And then it settles slowly to the bottom. And as it's on the bottom, that's when it turns into, you know, a gelatin piece of caviar. So what we do from here is we strain it out and then rinse it with ice cold water. Uh, I can't tell you I made the mistake of rinsing it with regular warm water and all my caviar evaporated and melted. So make sure it's very cold, ice cold water. Um, and then I like to put it in a towel and run it back and forth in a towel just to get every ounce of the canola oil off of the caviar. And from the towel, I rinse it one more time and then put it into, I like to keep it in, I like to keep it in, in old water bottles because it's easy because these things are squirrely. So I just like to, I use it for parties, for events that we have and serve them over little gelatin, candy gelatin gels, and that's all it is. It's, it's absolute caviar.